Hi guys, hope you're doing well. Um, thank you so much for all the comments on my last video. Um, I thought I would reveal what bike I've bought, although I haven't got it yet. So I don't really think this is clickbait. That's why I used the photo of the original bike um, that this one is based on um, in the thumbnail. Um, for those of you who guessed correctly, it is a Kawasaki Z900RS, which is coming on Friday. Very excited, it's brand new. It's not the SE version, but I'll tell you why it's not in a minute. Before I do that, I need to speak to you about the house. I'm absolutely loving it here in Suffolk. This is, uh, we should have moved years ago. It is, we feel at home straight away. We've only been here a week and we absolutely love it. And I've become obsessed with the wildlife. I've even bought a book. I know it's backwards, but it's British birds. <laughs> What's happened to me? Is this a sign of middle age when the birds that I'm looking at have got feathers on? <laughs> this is it. It's all downhill now. Anyway, yeah, we've um, we've got a bird feeder outside, and honestly, we've had every time. I'm sure there was a puffin <laughs> sitting on the fence this morning. It looked like a puffin. It can't be a puffin, can it? But we've got collared doves. Someone mentioned that about the doves. And it's, it's amazing, I'm absolutely loving it. And I just can't wait to get out into the lanes around here, the country lanes, they're incredible. Um, literally 30 seconds from our house are beautiful open fields with little lanes going through them. And I will take you out with me once I've got the bike. But before I do, I've got to show you something else. Let me spin the camera around. So guys, I mean, obviously that's not a real bird. <laughs> <laughs> but we've got our bird feeder which we've had to refill twice already so there's a lot of fat little sparrows and robins flying about here because they are loving it um we've done nothing else to the garden but oh let me show you a friend of mine bought me a little sign which is great so what you think <laughs> and obviously i'm a royal enfield authorized dealer if you have owned more than four royal enfields i think you can be classed as a dealer yeah, love that. Um, yeah, we we haven't really done much outside. It's all inside at the moment. But obviously we've been spending a lot of time in the Slap and Tickle sleep Secret Garden. I'll take you around there. I don't know why I take you around there every time. <laughs> but um, yeah, we absolutely love it. So the debacle with the pressure washer Oh my God, I bought a hose because <laughs> you need one apparently. For those of you who just bought a pressure washer, you need a hose as well, who knew? And not only do you need a hose guys, but you need a tap. I'll tell you what, <laughs> luckily we have an outdoor tap. Unluckily it was seized. So I sprayed it with WD-40 and it loosened up. And now absolutely nothing. And before anyone says you've got to go and twiddle with the stopcock, I have twiddled with every single stopcock I can see. <laughs> and it does nothing. So there's some, there's a hidden stopcock somewhere. And uh, we need to sort that out. So I'm still struggling with the pressure washer. But yeah, that is great. Thanks, Sean. Right, let's go back in and talk about the motorbike. So, I went through a lot of motorbikes, deciding which one to get and which one would suit the area that I'm in and also enable me to go further afield if I needed to, which I might do. Um, and a lot of you mentioned about the Moto Guzzi and I, did, I didn't test ride a V7, but I sat on it and it felt really small for me. Um, so I discounted that one. Then the other option was a V85. Is it the sort of um, adventure type looking bike? I think I mentioned that in my last video. That was still a contender actually. I, I really like that. And I like the fact that it was um, shaft drive. It looks really funky. I really, really did like that. And that was a very, very, it was high up on my list. Um, the Speedmaster, I couldn't find one that was in my price range that I was happy with. And the other one that was on my radar for a, quite a short time, if I'm honest, was the V100 uh, Moto Guzzi, which um, is a big touring one with, uh, I think, 
I said, with the little fins that come out of the side. Um, that was an option and it was just too big a bike and too heavy a bike to have around the lanes here. So I discounted that one as well. Um, and then I went out on the um, Z900RS Kawasaki and absolutely loved it. I've been out on one before and I'd forgotten how much I loved it and how comfortable it was. For me, being six foot four, I over, I'm just over six foot four, um, and the seat height on that I think is 835 and it really makes a difference. It, it really feels roomy for me, um, which is a big thing. And the power is incredible. I mean, that, that engine is incredible. I know a lot of people said that the throttle snatchy, the one that I tested, didn't seem to have that problem um but I, i'm i can live with that and the looks of it are just to die for in my opinion um the one that i really wanted so i was thinking of getting the se which is a special edition i think and that's got the upgraded shocks and uh brembo brakes and stuff um and it was lovely, really nice. I would, wouldn't have been able to get a brand new one um, for the money I was paying, um, but I could get a two year old one. Um, but the, the thing that put me off about that bike, it was lovely and it, I could see the benefit of having the upgraded shock, etc. but it was the gold forks. I just didn't like that. I really liked the fact the original kind of not mirrors the Z1, but it, it, you can see the similarities and the, the original one never had gold forks. Um, the, the SE also had gold wheels and I just wasn't sure if it was too much. Um, but I, what I wanted was the green and grey, I think it's called the yellow ball. They do it in a green and a yellow for the non-SE version. And I, by luck, came across a dealer that was selling pre-reg ones. So they'd literally pre-regged them last month. So brand new. Um, and they were doing them for a really good price in the yellow and green. And when I saw it actually in the flesh, that is like a metallic yellow and green. It's incredible. The paint is incredible on that bike. Let me spin the camera around because I've got one set up on my other phone. So this is exactly the bike I'm buying. Um, so it's the metallic green and the yellow. Um, this is, a, I think it's a 2024 color. Um, but there's a lot of colours that they've done before. The Jaffa Orange I loved as well. And they did a 50th anniversary red one, which was a couple of years ago, which I also looked at because I love that. It didn't have the gold forks, but it had gold wheels and it looked really, really nice. But in the end, I just loved the yellow and green on this, mo on this model. Um, and I don't think, apart from the colour, that anything's different than the 2023 model. Oh, except for maybe. Let me just zoom in on that. So that little sign on the side says 900 double overhead cam, which is what it says on the original Z1. Whereas the 2023 um, Z900 RS says Z900 RS. So this is more in keeping with the original Z1, which I thought was really nice. But everything else about it, I absolutely loved. And I, I didn't want the, as I said, the gold forks, it's got more than enough power, more than the Bonneville. Uh, it's got a nice, a lovely seat, really wide and really comfortable. Enough room for my other half. I've ordered the rear pillion grab rail, which looks really nice. I love everything about it. So guys, I hope the ones that didn't guess are, are, are impressed with it. And well done to the guys that got it right. Um, it's been delivered on Friday. And obviously I need to run it in. Um, and I'll be doing some videos round about the, the little lanes around here. And hopefully meeting up with some of you guys who are in the Suffolk, Norfolk area. So thank you very much for all your comments and your emails, guys. And I will catch up with you soon. Ride safe.